Here's what they don't tell you about carbon capture. It's less about saving the planet and more about saving political face. Billions spent nothing to show for it. This is the short version. Carbon capture is meant to stop carbon dioxide, that's the stuff that heats the planet, from reaching the air. Factories and power stations fit huge filters to grab the CO2 before it escapes. Then they squash it into a sort of liquid and pump it deep underground. Well, that sounds clever, but it's expensive and inefficient. To run carbon capture, you need more fuel just to power the capture kit. It can swallow 30% of a plant's own energy. Then you add pipelines, storage and monitoring, and you're looking at £150 to deal with each tonne of CO2. And after that, most real projects don't get even close to their targets. On paper, they trap 90% of emissions. But in reality, it's half of that. Worldwide, every single working plant combined captures less than one-tenth of 1% 1 of what we produce. Carbon capture isn't magic. It's an expensive patch that lets heavy industry keep running while politicians say they're cutting emissions.